I knew it. I knew it. I sh I What did I say? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Brian here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today we're going to be reacting to episode 3 of Only Friends. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and start. So messy, this kid. Poor Nick. No, don't do it. Don't fall for it. Ready. What am I to you? All right. Huh? Again? Oh my gosh. He's obsessed. Damn. They have a lot of makeup scenes. And then so. Poor Nick. and you're gonna find something don't let your mm, don't do this to yourself Ooh. that looks like a leather blanket <laughs> 
those pillows look so fluffy and comfy. What the f did you do? But I like it. No feelings. No feelings. Oh. That's like a good turn. Oh, I like their house. Thinking it.
ไม่ช่วยติดตั้งเลยดีวันเสาร์นี้ฮะวันเสาร์นี้มีปาร์ตี้ด้วยนะช่วงนั้นได้ดิ can't say no to you แต่งานเร่งแบบนี้ต้องมีคนแลกเปลี่ยน Oh gosh What is it? Money? Then we're gonna Uh oh. Oh, I like this. I actually experienced this not too long ago. The silent disco. And you can switch to different. See? Switch to different channels or two. Yeah. I like it. It's actually really fun. You look dumb. If you take it off, you look stupid. But who cares? It's so much fun.
และอีกอย่างครับถ้ากูอยู่บ้านกูก็พาใครมานอนด้วยไม่ได้ใช่ปะล่ะจบ
ุยสนุกดีอะก็ได้คุยยังไงได้ขนาดความรัก Can you โอเคงั้นตามนั้นเราเจอกันวันเสาร์นะก็ขอบคุณนะที่ทำข้าวผัดรถไฟกูกินนะโคตรนัวเลยร้านนี่เนี่ยมีอุปกรณ์ที่ครบวงจรใครพูดถึงเสียความเสียเนี่ยเอาไปซ่อมไปร้านไม่อยู่ไกลพอแล้วเรื่องอะไรดีอ่ะไว้ใจเราได้เลยนะขอบใจมากนะนี้เออแล้ววันเสาร์อ่ะถ้าว่างๆอ่ะก็มาหัวซีโร่มาจอยๆกันนะสนุกมากแน่นอนเฮ้ยได้ดิคนเยอะดีดูน่าสนุกด้วยอ่ะแผนกแคทเธอรีนมาแล้วค่ะคุณอะไรอยู่อ่ะแหมกว่าจะมานี่ใช้ข้ออ้างเรื่องหน้าที่เนี่ยเพื่อไปเด่นกันปะเนี่ยขออ้างอะไรมึงไม่ได้ไปเด่นเว้ยเราไม่ชอบไปเด่นกินร้านมาทุกร้านเพื่อหาเจ้าดีๆสุดมาให้เลยนะเว้ยโอ้ขอบคุณนะนะเออนี่นี่เป็นเพื่อนตันมาช่วยดูเรื่องซีซีทีวีแล้วก็นี่มิวนะเป็นเพื่อนเราเองแล้วก็นี่ท็อปมาช่วยดูเรื่องอินทีเซียทั้งนี้นั่นให้มิมิวเลยแล้วก็เป็นแฟนเหมือนกันBe a messy party. I'm scared and excited at the same time. Oh, cool car. Er, Mun. Talk to Mew. He's been fan of Mew for a long time. Yet, it's been three months. But Mew, he's been a fan of Mew for a long time. Yet, Mew, he's been a fan of Mew for a long time. Yet, Mew, he's been a fan of Mew for a long time. Yet, Mew, he's been a fan of Mew for a long time. Yet, Mew, he's been a fan of Mew for a long time. แต่มึงชอบมันก็ไม่แปลกหรอกมันดูรูปร่างหน้าตามันด้วยตัวท็อปสมชื่อท็อปจริงๆแล้วถ้าเป็นมึงอ่ะมึงชอบไหม I don't know if you're gonna get an honest answer from me ไม่ชอบกูไม่ชอบสายหล่อกูชอบสายน่ารักแบบมึงมากกว่า We don't believe you ปะไปได้แล้วเฮ้ยเดี๋ยวแล้วถ้าคนในงานถามว่ามึงกับกูไปอะไรกันอ่ะให้ตอบว่าไงอ่ะให้ตอบว่าอะไรอ่ะต้องตอบว่าเป็นเพื่อนกันดิโอ้โหมึงจะไปอธิบายให้มันยุ่งยากทำไมกูไม่รู้ละอยากจะเรียกความสมัครของเราว่าอะไรก็อาจเป็นมึงได้ไหมจะไหมฮะอืมแค่แค่ I can't with him ไปไปได้แล้วอ
งไงมึงมึงกับแซนักร้องนักเที่ยวเนี่ยนักแต่งนะกูก็ว่าทำไมขอดีวนะคุณตีเองไม่มีอะไรกูชอบมันร้องเพลงเฉยๆไงเสียงมันเท่ดีอ่ะแต่ว่ามึงน่าจะชอบมากกว่าเพลงกว่าเสียงแล้วมั้งกูเป็นเพื่อนมึงเลยกูจะดูไม่ออกมาเลยไม่รู้ไม่มีอะไรกูไม่ได้คิดอะไรเลยจริงๆเออทันขอบคุณครับTo them individually and messing with their minds. So manipulative. ไม่เอาอ่ะกูไม่อยากมึงสร้างซีนเป็นจอยปาร์ตี้เถอะ
เดี๋ยวตอนเลือกปาร์ตี้อะเพลงฮาร์โอ้กาดเจนี่เราจะดูแน่สิ่งที่มาโอ้กาดแต่สิ่งที่มาสิและเดนที่ซีซิมฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่าฮ่า
ายไปหาพ่อดีนะไม่รู้เลยนะเพื่อน What is going on โอเคโอเคมึงไม่จับให้ได้เลยก็มึงไม่ได้ปฏิเสธคนนี้<笑> Him too. Everyone's busy. Is it really them, though? Sure. 
ใส่ที่มันคิดมันเองเล่นเกมกับผมมันลุ่มเหนื่อยอยากได้มันทำตัวมันจะที่มีค่าแต่มันยิ่งอยากได้มันไงเฮ้ย let me see the video Two years ago. That's two years ago. That's not fair. I'm messing with your head. I bet you anything Nick is watching. You are something else, like I said. It worked. Nick was watching. Okay, I. What did I say? What did I say? Uh, I knew it. I knew it. I. He is an IT guy. It all. Oh my gosh. Oh no. What is this? Thank you. Exactly. Oh. Hey, shit. <gasps> huh? ยังไม่ทำแบบนี้เอาใครแล้วนะทุกคนก็มีความรู้สึกก็ต้องคุยกันเองความรู้สึกตรงไหนคุณไม่มีตรงนี้นี่ในชั้นเลยเนาะอื
pack his stuff and leave was confusing. Sam pretty much made an exception for this moment only to be left hanging with blue I don't know. So I'm curious to know how San is going to respond to Ray when he asks for it again because let's be honest, he's gonna come back for it again. But I'm curious to know how he's gonna be responding to him considering what just happened because if that was me, I'd be like, F that, you know, I don't need this. Sh you left me hanging. Find somebody else to do it. <laughs> so we'll see. And then Mew on top. Again, things were looking so well. There was a little rough patch in the beginning. They did run into, I assume, somebody that Top hooked up with in the past, but they kind of just brushed it off. It was no big deal. It was in the past. But again, things were going so well until Boston again interfered. So now Top is beginning to doubt Mew. I didn't think that was possible, but Boston made it possible. I mean, Top already feels some type of way towards Ray, but I think what Boston put in his head further fueled the fire. And then the picture and the video, I mean, that just kind of took it to the top. But I feel like that shouldn't count though for me because two years is, is a long time considering that they've only been seeing each other for a few months, I think three months. I'm not entirely sure, but apparently the video was two years old, which I'm very surprised that Boston said that it was two years because knowing how he is, I would not have been surprised if he said, oh, this took place like yesterday or something, you know? And I still feel like Top should have at least asked Mew if that was true before, you know, he did what he did with Boston in the car. I wouldn't necessarily believe what Boston is telling me knowing that he has his own agenda. But he did what he did and that's that's that. He got what he wanted. Top, top Boston in the car. Exactly what Boston wanted. So his plan of manipulating and stirring the pot worked. At least for now. That's pretty messed up and I hope he gets what he deserves in the end because I... That's just... I can't even imagine doing that to people I know. And on top of that, he's really playing with Nick as well who he knows has feelings for him. Poor Nick. I mean, he still seems like he really likes Boston and he wants more from Boston. More than what Boston is willing to give him at this time. Constantly ask him, what are we? Or what should we tell people if they ask about us? He really just wants Boston to be his boyfriend or he just wants Boston to say that he's willing to go there, I think. But it is a lot to ask, to be honest. In fairness to Boston, that is a lot to ask, especially from someone like Boston. We all know Boston doesn't see him that way, and we also know that he has his eyes set on top. So now that Nick has seen Boston's true colors, I wonder if he's going to confront him, or I wonder if he's gonna do kind of like what Boston did, you know, use that audio, or maybe even a video, who knows, of Boston and Top to get what he wants, I think. I don't know. I don't know if he's that type of person, but he looked pretty pissed off upon seeing what he saw in the car. So, I don't know. It's getting really messy. We'll see how Nick responds to this. And then we have Boston, Mr. Boston. I don't even know where to begin with him because he's so toxic, he's so selfish, he's so manipulative. It's clear that he still wants Top and he is willing to do whatever it takes to get Top back. He's going around and planning shit in people's heads just to, again, get what he wants, which is ultimately top. At the same time, he's stringing Nick along with very little regards to his feelings. I mean, granted, he's pretty much told Nick that he is not willing to go where Nick wants him to go. He strictly wants sex. But at the same time, he knows that Nick has feelings for him. So I feel like he's using Nick's feelings as a leash. He doesn't want to lose Nick. Not because he cares about Nick, but he gets his needs met with Nick. So of course he wants to keep Nick around. So to satisfy Nick, he tells him, all right, you can call a relationship whatever you want. Thinking that that would stop Nick from asking about their relationship status. But it's clear that Nick wasn't buying it. He obviously doesn't believe him. That's why he bugged his car. Nick just needs to see it for himself, I guess. Even though there's so many things that Boston said and done in the past that should have been a hmm moment for Nick. But honestly, if you're in that state, you're pretty much willing to ignore what your gut is telling you, what your friends are telling you, because in your mind, you still have a shot with him and you can still somehow change him. Because in your mind, you can still be that person that you think he's looking for. Maybe if I continue to give him what he wants, Maybe if I continue to cater to his needs, maybe he'll learn to like me. Maybe my relationship with him will graduate into something beyond just buddies. But seriously though, if 
you're not what he's looking for, you're just not what he's looking for. Regardless of how much you put out or regardless of how often you sleep with him, you're just buddies. You're just a booty call. And that is a tough pill to swallow because you give so much of yourself and you expect, you know, something similar in return, but instead you get this much. So that's gotta hurt. And Nick struck me as, at least up until this point, struck me as somebody who is in that state where he was willing to ignore all the red flags he saw because he was still hoping in his head that he could still be what Boston was looking for. But the evidence is, is just overwhelming and they continue to stack up. And Nick just had to see it for himself and that's exactly what happened. He saw it with his own eyes, Boston in action with top. So now the question then becomes, is what he saw enough to drop Boston or will that motivate him even more to do more for Boston so that Boston wouldn't have to look elsewhere. I don't know. What did you guys think of this episode? Let me know in the comments section down below. I am so excited for the next episode because it is going to be another messy one. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then, I will see you 